Tonight, a dispute over what led to the death of a Milwaukee postal worker shot last month while delivering mail. Well, the letter carriers union is taking issue with details in the court documents laid out by investigators. Here's Sarah McGrew. Kevin McCaw and Charles Duckworth Jr. are accused of killing Milwaukee letter carrier Andre Cross on December 9th. We're still grieving. It hasn't been a month yet. We just put Andre to rest you know, a couple days before Christmas. The local letter carrier union president is disputing allegations made in court documents. It starts with 13 packages that officials say were suspected to have drugs in them. They were mailed to addresses associated with Duckworth and McCaw. One week before Andre Cross was murdered, he allegedly scanned one of those packages as a delivery attempted, no access to delivery location. That would not be a scan that a letter carrier would normally use. After Cross's murder, postal inspectors went looking for that package, but court documents show they didn't find it. As a letter carrier, it leads me to believe that it was intercepted by our inspection service. But according to court records, it could also mean that a USPS employee kept the parcel or gave it to someone else outside of normal operations. I don't believe that happened. That's a very unusual wording by the legal profession. No thought in your mind that Mr. Cross would have taken that package. I have no thought that Mr. Cross or any other my letter carriers would take a package. He thinks the suspects tracked the package, saw the attempted delivery scan, and that may have led them to kill Cross. Postal scanning network, you can look that up on USPS.gov, mm -hmm. get the status of your parcel. It says what it says and it might lead you to believe something that isn't true. He asked people to look out for their postal workers and to report if they think they are being followed. Along with Duckworth and McCaw, a third person is charged with providing false information to law enforcement. All three are being charged in federal court. Reporting in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.